Yo, YouTube fam, what is good, everybody? I'm your guy Rez, and I am back again with y'all for another dope video for the channel. Welcome. So in today's video, guys, I have some hat pickups I want to share with y'all that I recently just got when I was mall hopping uh, the other day, and uh, I'm very excited that I have these new additions. One of them, actually, I'm surprised it took me this long to add to the collection, to be quite honest with you, but, you know, better late than never, right? So I have three hat pickups I want to share with y'all today, and I'm going to start off with this one right here, guys. So... Uh, I did pick this up along with another hat from the same store, but I'm gonna show this one first This hat guys as you all know is the infamous city You know uh, classic logo from the Warriors that they wore back in like the 60s And as you can see right here guys, it is a timeless classic. This is made by Mitchell and Ness This is the snapback right there as you can see with that Mitchell and Ness embroidery on the back You have the yellow buttons for the snap and you just have a wool hat right there with that gold finish and then you have the beautiful city right there that is embroidered on along with the bridge and you have a green underbrim with the Mitchell and Ness tag right there the adjustable fit along with the NBA logo Let's see if my camera could catch that so as you can see right there now as you can see guys this hat origin originally cost $32.99 but as you can see I got it for a sale price of $19.99. Big shout outs to Sports Fever, uh, which is a store, or they, I should say there's a chain of stores here, at least in the San Jose area. I don't know if they have them anywhere else in other cities or other states and stuff like that. But, you know, um, really, really happy to add this to the collection, guys. You know, Mitchell Ness, they do phenomenal work with their hats, in my opinion, especially the snapbacks. You can see right there, the Mitchell Ness branding. And you have the Hardwood Classics tag right there with black sweatband. So, and then got that Mitchell and that's right there to hold the hat in place. So, yeah, this, guys, I, believe it or not, actually do not have an all, an all gold uh, yellow version of this hat until today. Um, I have a couple of other variations with, like, I have the blue. I have the blue with a yellow brim. And uh, I don't have an all yellow one. So, this is the first time I've been meaning to get one. I can never find one for a good condition or a good price and uh, very excited now to add this one to the collection. So that is hat number one. Hat number two is another Golden State Warriors hat. This is a newer one that I saw when I saw the style I was like, yo, that is fire. So as you can see guys, this is a shark tooth, which is very reminiscent of the uh, older shark tooths, you know, that like logo athletic and stuff did back in the day. So as you can see, this is the Golden State Warriors from like the We Believe era logo right there, primarily from the 2000s. And as you can see, this is a snapback, the shark tooth, as you can see, also have the Mitchell and Ness branding right there. And it's just a beautiful hat, guys. Blue button on the top, as you can see. The original fit, as you can see, with the Nostalgia Company 1904, without all that stuff. And then underneath it, you have the green, under under bill and then you have the nba same thing um only difference is that you don't have a hardwood classic tag like you did on this other one guys so this is a newer hat i've seen this actually mitchell ness the website does have this hat right now on their website if i'm not mistaken so you know i could have got this anywhere else but you know uh getting it locally especially in a store not having to wait for like shipping times and transit and all that stuff is always an advantage especially when you get to try them on you know i love these hats so freaking much you know they just look so dope you know when you wear them and the shark tooth style is definitely one of my favorite like vintage style hats for sure you know adding this to the collection is definitely dope by the way guys if you want to see some of my other shark tooth collections of my hats i definitely recommend that you go on my channel and you kind of browse through my hat collection because i've done a couple of like actual original shark tooth you know hat collections i have like a lot of sharks ones i have another warriors shark tooth and i definitely have some niners ones as well like from logo athletic so definitely check it out i will leave a link above if you want to check out the uh those videos you know that i did on my shark tooth one but i'm adding another modern shark tooth hat to my collection of hats so that is hat number two guys and the third and final hat that i wanted to add i actually just picked this up today uh from japantown um let me see if i have that business card because i actually got this from a local vendor and 
this. So, um, real quick, just wanted to give a huge shout out to Hachi.bit. Shout outs to them with their dope business card, as you can see right there. Got a lot of iconic pixelated designs and characters, as you can see. There is their social media handles if you guys want to check them out. I don't know if my camera can catch that. Sorry, guys. It's kind of blurry. But, yeah, this is their handles if you want to see them. But the hat, you're probably wondering. Boom. As you can see, this is like a dad hat style. But it was super dope, man. This is basically like Gundam. You know, paying homage to Gundam. Gundam Wing, as you can see. Gundam is definitely a dope anim anime that I grew up watching. You know, that was very big when I was like a kid like in the 80s and 90s and uh you know just i have a couple of gundams that i actually you know had that i built actually as a matter of fact <laughs> it's fitting as you can see right here boom so this is pretty much what the hat is inspired by i have this little gundam right here that um i bought many many years ago at a toy convention here in my hometown san jose california but yo it looks like uh they're a local brand i believe from san jose california and uh, check them out, man. They had a great selection of hats and other apparel, you know, of a lot of like iconic characters, video games, uh, anime, you know, Gundam. And they just had like beanies, hats, and other things too. So definitely check them out. Big shout outs to the people over at Hachibit, you know, for dropping some dope stuff. You know, just a plain hat, you know, as you can see right there, nothing too crazy about it inside. 100% cotton so definitely this hat may shrink a little bit but it's all good because it is adjustable so it should not be a problem but embroidered Gundam logo right there so that's super dope guys definitely happy to have this to the collection you'll definitely see me wear this a couple times on my uh, YouTube channel and you know over all my videos and live streams and stuff like that but anyways guys that's pretty much it. You know, I know this video might not be as uh, entertaining as some of my other videos because I know a lot of people love to see my jersey videos and stuff. But like I said, guys, uh, I'm, I have a lot of different hobbies. You know, uh, I collect a lot of hats, a lot of sneakers, a lot of toys, a lot of collectibles, a lot of jerseys and just basically what my life revolves around, man. So anyways, y'all, I appreciate you guys watching uh, this video from beginning up until this point, guys, as I mentioned before. Please hit that like button on this video as well. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification to stay updated as soon as I post anything. That way you don't miss any sort of content or video that I put on the channel. So, all right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for me. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day, guys. And your boy Rez will catch you all on the next video. We out. Peace.